I'm just gonna stick my nails back on. They fell off. And that's not very hot and festive of me. Hello everyone. Oh, not the... Mm. Welcome back to my channel. I'm doing festive date night glam. Oh, I just you just can't beat a date night glam. Add festive in there, which means we can add glitter. Got me. And I found the perfect palette to do so. I'll put some inspo pics on screen of ideas flowing through my brain right now. Let me show you the colours. Tell me this is not screaming festive date night. I'm thinking pink all over, base, this like navy blue purple thing which is slightly darker in real life than what it's showing up on camera as like a smoky winged eyeliner. Deepen it with this sparkly emerald green. This is the Kalidos Quad Twilight Rush palette. Let's start out by popping the Kylie Plush Concealer all over my eyes just to create a clear base. I haven't done anything this year too much. I started out with Vlogmas. I've been vlogging so it's going to be a huge vlog coming but I wanted to put out some main channel videos like I would normally post and glam is obviously what I'm gonna do. I do want to do some stocking fill ideas. We can do that over a cup of tea rather than sat here at a desk because it doesn't need to be so formal really does it? No. Excited for a bit of glam today. I feel like it's a bit of a switch up to what we've been seeing. Going in with the pink I feel like you can see the tones a bit more now it's on my eye. They're not so bright. I'm gonna keep blending that up, making sure the lid is fully coated. I don't mind my veins showing through up here, but on my eyelid, don't you fucking dare. I don't know if that's what's on my brush, but that's the vibe we've got so far and I'm loving it. Okay, McDonald's. I'm gonna go straight in with sketching out my wing and I'm gonna take this shade to do so. And if it's not dark enough, I'll just go straight in with the green much as I want this to be wearable, because I think the last thing you want to do on a date night is go in something you're not going to be comfortable in. That's crazy. But at the same time, it's the one time of year where it's totally acceptable to go right out of your comfort zone. See, for me, everything in me wants to keep it like that. But that's not pushing myself out there. So I'm going to tap myself in to this scary, scary colour. Okay best decision I've ever made. There we go, guys. If you needed a reason to try something new, that's your reason. That. And it's like sparkly. Make sure I'm pressing that in to my lash line. Ouch, I'm sat on my toe. I'm gonna repeat that on this side. See, normally I don't love palettes like this. I'm like, when am I ever gonna use that? But it's so nice seeing colors that when you actually put them on your eye, they all work together. I could tap this I don't know if you want me able to see this pink glitter onto the I did it. Yeah, I'm gonna take that pink now and just blend that some more through. Okay, you can see the purple blues. I'm gonna go over my wing shape with a black eyeliner. Just a little bit to define my eye pink lash. I did all my skincare prior to starting this, so I'm just gonna go in with the Amelia Olivia Glow Milk Mist to kind of lock this in place. Primer, I'm gonna go in with the Milk Pro Makeup Primer. And I'm gonna focus this mainly on my cheeks and my lips. Don't forget your lips. I'm actually going to take a brown eyeliner and tight line. Let's start with the base. I'm gonna go ahead and add some bronzing drops to my neck and face because I'm lacking a bit of color. I'm gonna use the Kylie Plush Concealers too to do my foundation slash contour routine. I saw her doing it and then thought, let me give it a go. I do 6W as my bronzer. I do 4WN as kind of everywhere else. And then, to brighten, I take 2.5 N. I'm going to take a foundation brush to start doing my bronzer. I really, really ate up with this concealer because if you've watched my YouTube channel, I think I've probably used maybe max five different concealers in three years like my concealers to to conceal i feel like this will be a really nice blush shade 
I'm going to go ahead and use my HMB Loose Setting Powder. Set my under eyes and my nose. And just slowly bring that to set other areas. Because we're going to use powder on those parts too, but it's always nice to have a, an initial set. The key to making your makeup last is layers upon layers upon layers of powder. I'm gonna go ahead and take my hourglass palette and the bronzer that's in it to go and bronze up. Put it on my neck, ears. Looking at my eyes, right? I'm thinking I need just the tiniest bit of warmth guiding the top of the eyeshadow, yeah, into my nose because that was looking off, if you ask me. But that's fixed it and done exactly what I needed it to do. I'm running out of this powder. That's insane for me. Usher, this right here from the Hourglass palette. It's like a pinky shimmer. Now we've got an initial base of all the powders down. Setting spray. Spray your neck and spray under here because that's gonna come off too. I'm actually gonna take a bit of this glitter. Can you see the silver glitter I've just added through it? Stun, babe. I'll do my mascara so that we can do the underneath of our eyes curl my lashes. I don't do this too crazily because I will probably end up curling them. I know I will end up curling them after. I found my mascara anyway. But I'm gonna start out by priming them. One thing with the lash primer that I didn't realize don't wait too long because it will go hard wait till they're like tacky it's like lash glue if it's tacky it will lift if it's hard you ain't changing a thing baby I take my Paco Rabanne famous mascara and start layering this onto my eyelashes I love using a lash primer because I find I don't actually need to use lashes as much it's a huge difference in the volume Got some mascara on my lid, but that's not a problem. I can correct that afterwards. Look what I did to my face. I've been loving a brown lip. The lip liner I have been loving is... Can I focus? No, not till this is on me. The lip liner I've been loving is this Bro 2 Fi Brown and Bold by Max Factor. It is chef's kiss. Sugar pie, P. Louise. Now you're gonna go in with a pressed powder. I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury setting powder. The loose and set combo is Ev. And once I'm at the end, I'll do another layer of two powders. All of them have different uses. I'm gonna take a different hourglass palette and I'm gonna use this bronzer here. This has a slight shimmer to it, so it's gonna add life back in and dimension and reflectiveness back into my face. Okay, I was looking for my highlighter brush, which is my favorite little fan brush from Zoeva, but I cannot find it. But I did find brow gel. <laughs> so I'm gonna do my brows. I love a good brow gel. I feel like it really gives some to the brows. I'm going to pop on some highlighter. I'm going to use a warm highlighter just to keep that going in my face. Ooh. On my nose. Keep this bare. My collarbones. Maybe I can add some. Mmm, it's giving. About time we contour a little bit. Straight from the ear down. The bottom of my nose. Exciting part, powder foundation. <gasps> I see pan. I use that to clean up my contour. Set my face one more time. Oh no, I need to scratch my head. Now, we just wait till we can curl our lashes and see if we need to put on some falsies. This is the moment of truth. Are they dry? They are dry. Oh, this one was not so dry. 
And while that is drying, I'm going to take a powder brush. And then this is the last layer of powder. I know. Finally. This one. It's just like an ambient finishing powder. Obsessed with this at the moment. So I was just playing around. Um, taking videos. And I decided I'm going to put a crazy like Whoville lash on. Because why not? Do you know what I mean? I don't know what style of lash these are. They are literally cut up little pieces, but I know they're from Ardell and they're the really gappy ones. Can you see the gap? Got them in TK Maxx. Dry it on my fan. Lashes are not for everyone. They are a little bit ridiculous, but I love it. And I think it's very festive. This is the finished date night festive glam. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will keep searching for the lashes to see if I can put a link in the description book. Please don't get your hopes up. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys sooner than you think with a vlog. Um, but yeah, this is the look. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Deuces.